got the Milwaukee Bucks versus the L.A. Lakers. Lakers right now. Oh, this line's uh, been moving a little bit. Well, last time when I was checking it last night, I feel like it was maybe they were uh, laying a point. It was certainly closer to uh, even there. Lakers now plus two and a half at home. Little home dog here. Bucks minus one thirty on the money line. Total sitting at two thirty two. I mean, Lakers certainly are a team that I feel like I just have no handle on. Um, you know, it it seems like they're always. Uh, listing LeBron as questionable, and then will he show up? Won't he show up? Uh, Bucks, I would say, is is I certainly like them uh, spot wise because you know coming off a thirty five point loss at home, or sorry, not at home, but thirty five point loss against the Warriors, they just got destroyed. You would imagine they're going to be uh, super fired up, but then you look at the other side, Lakers also coming off a somewhat embarrassing loss. I mean, they were up huge against the uh, Kings at home, ended up losing by margin. So I think both teams will be fairly motivated. I would, I would uh, probably go bucks here, but didn't feel confident enough because of just the fact that the Lakers also coming off a embarrassing loss, but how say you junior uh, bucks Lakers? Yeah. Bucks coming off that huge loss, uh, which is the opposite of what they've shown um, recently. So I expect them to give uh, maximum effort. And with Giannis coming back into lineup, I saw that this morning he was listed as probable, so I don't see why that would change. Uh, he has a huge, huge amount of respect for LeBron, and he's going to bring his A game in L.A. versus Braun. I know that seems very, uh, I don't know, chalky to say that, but uh, it's not chalky to say that Milwaukee is a significantly better basketball team than the Los Angeles Lakers are. Uh, so I'm taking Milwaukee in a spot where they've been playing well for an extended period of time. And they had they've had a blip, and they're getting their best player back into the lineup against a team that they're much better than. Uh, the Lakers have no consistency whatsoever, especially on the defensive end. Uh, they're in the beginning of the season for like the first, I would say, fifty percent of the season. The Lakers were like a top eight to ten defense, and that yeah. has gone that that is nowhere to be found. So uh, while they're not defending, um, if I can get them. Uh, if I can fade them at less than a, a full possession against a team that is better than them, I just don't see any other play here. Oh, sorry. I do have a heavy lean to the over because the Lakers uh, usually push the pace. But Milwaukee's such a slow-paced team that I couldn't talk my, I couldn't get myself to over 232. Sorry to interrupt you, Sean. Uh, Alfonso in the chat uh, saying Lakers defense has been a bunch of cones as of late. That is a funny Photoshop idea of uh, LeBron James as a traffic cone just standing there. <laughs> uh, and, and certainly a great visual. I, I do think, you know, after you laid out the case, I do think that uh, that Bucks play is fairly strong because that coming off that 35 point loss against this Lakers defense with Giannis being upgraded to probable, it seems like things are are checking in the right direction for the Bucks. But this, uh, the chat seems to be uh, leaning towards the Lake Show. Uh, we'll see. Shark, how say you, uh, Bucks Lakers? Yeah, I think the chat's probably pretty split on this one, as am I in my mind. I think this could go either way. I think, obviously, uh, when you see both teams coming off a loss, just historically, any sport, any day, you don't really like it when both teams are coming off a loss. They try to bounce back. I think it's slightly more emphatic for Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee obviously is the better team, the better roster. Uh, these teams haven't played this year. The last time they played was February 9th, 2023. So, as I mentioned about the, the Minnesota game, you know, data deficient would define this matchup. Lakers have taken a couple margin losses at home against East contenders. Boston did beat them in crypto by 11. Miami beat them by 14. So they haven't performed well against the elites from the East at home. I would lean towards Milwaukee, obviously national game here at 10 o'clock, but I just couldn't get there with the lack of information within this calendar season. So lag it up for Junior on the a Bucks a parlayed with the Thunder both on the money line there. Get you a nice, uh, nice little price there over on Bet US. Uh, Bucks money line parlay with the Thunder money line. Lock it up. 